Um, you have collab projects with some of the most legendary producers. You got an album with Muggs. You got an album with Alchemist. You got a couple of albums with Harry Fraud. You got Rock Marciano, the collab album coming out. Yeah. For, for you, what is like, give me kind of like the breakdown on like the creative process on working with each one of these guys. Because I'm sure it, everyone's different. Yeah, Producers, every, uh, creative uh, processes, the maybe, you know, whether it's recording, whatever. What, what's, what's the difference between everybody? Everybody, uh, I mean, for the most part, bro, like we all like friends. So, you know, um, I like, I really like getting in there with fraud because fraud's like a good coach. He'll be like, nah, say it like this, or nah, you need to retake that again. Um, Someone recently told me he'd be in the Hamptons. Yep, that's where we recorded that second album. So we went out to the Hamptons. That shit was dope. And, you know, like, fraud surf. So he'll, like, wake up, go surfing, and then we'll go, you know what I'm saying, record. Yeah, 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 exactly. So, um, uh, yeah, I like, everybody's different, you know what I'm saying? But, um. The main thing is we're all friends, so it's like I like to make music with people that I know. You know, I like to have personal relationships, and um, I think that makes the music better. You know what I'm saying? When you really like family like that, but um, I was gonna say the it, it felt like the Larry June album caught a lot of like lists last year. I had it, I think as my like yeah. eighth or ninth best album last year. But do you feel like that album kind of brought a lot more eyes to you and your movement and what you got going on? Probably so, you know. I don't know, cause like, yeah. I mean, I'm not one to like. I'm very, I'm a very private person. I don't really like being in the media too much. Um, so that one probably, you know, Larry's on fire right now. It was a great, bro. Great fucking album. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know, that's that's Sean. You know, from our group, London Drugs, and we uh we put that together. But you know, me and Larry is like real life brothers. You know what I'm saying? That's like my best friend. So. It was just, you know, we we'd been sitting. Some of those songs are like six years old Crazy. that we put on there. Yeah, one of the songs, the song with Jim Jones, mm-hmm. I actually did that verse in 2013 and put it out now. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I nine years like, later. Yeah, ten years later. Yeah, like, you know, and I just feel like what well, came out last. Oh year. yeah, it came yeah. out last year. Yeah, so. I just feel like, you know, if it's timeless, it's timeless. Like, I don't really feel like, um, you know what, I still listen to Death Certificate. You know, I still listen to Dog Food, you know, like it came out yesterday. So, nah, I hope a- they do the same with my shit. You feel me? I ain't trying to put a, um, a year stamp on my shit like that. Yeah, f- for you... I don't feel like I, when I I remember buying like the Jizz and Mugs album. Mm, I remember that, which was a great album. Um, but I feel like Mugs doesn't do as much like full collab projects with people. So I feel like the fact you got an album with Mugs is insane. Oh yeah, it's that a big was deal, nuts. man. That's nuts. Soul Assassin shit, like that shit's a big deal. Like, where did that relationship stem from? And like, well, I think Mugs probably got hip to me from Al. You know what I'm saying? Um, and just seeing my shit and you know we was mutual friends through a lot of people and one day he was like yeah pull up to the studio let's make some shit and we just started it and you know i already had in my mind when i go start something with a producer especially like a legendary producer like that i'm trying to get an album done bro like, and you've done a good job it. of doing that <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i'm trying to get an album done you know what i'm saying so um yeah uh, that was a great experience. You know, that's a legend. You know, I my first CD I think I ever bought as a kid was The Predator. You know what I'm Crazy. saying? So, you know, he had a lot of production on mm-hmm. there. And, you know, yeah, I came up on Cypress and all that shit. So for me, it's like you're in Muggs' studio and you're looking at the plaques and you're like looking, basically looking at an old Source magazine and then you like... This is dope. You know what I mean? So that shit was fire. How how high is Ice Cube on your like goats list? That's like the guy, you know, for sure to me. Um, as far as you know, those Give me your give me your like top five. <laughs> your personal favorite. I, I can't really do a top five, man. That shit is really hard for me to do, man. But Cube is definitely in there, you know what I'm saying? Most definitely. Um Cube. 
Nas is in there too, you know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to just leave those two on there. Those right are now. two good ones. Yeah, yeah, those two for sure. Because Illmatic and Death Certificate, those was like, okay, yeah. Would you consider Death Certificate his best album? To me? Yeah. I think so. To yeah. me. I yeah. feel like in in I feel like I feel like it should I feel like that's kind of the consensus. Yeah, yeah. I feel like America's Most Wanted got the five mics, right? Yeah, yeah. Cause America's Most Wanted is like, but I was a little like just the style of production for me was like a little still like it was bomb. I love it. I go back to it now and I really got into it. But when I was like younger, I liked like, you know, steady mobbing and, mm-hmm. and and shit like that i was like oh and then like you know I, i'm st- i still love lethal injection that album for sure is like crazy so i just had mac 10 on and i was like dude oh i West seen Side that connection was so fire that first i seen album. that shit you know yeah i was like oh shit yeah yeah that's that's dope 